Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. This is a Tiger Tank. We'll be painting this in this video. But first, I want to show you decal fix and decal softener. We've got this ready for when the decals turn up. They're actually out of stock at the moment. They're just waiting for the more stock to come in. So when they uh, when they get the stock in, they're going to send it out to me. Not a problem. As long as I know they've not forgotten me. <laughs> so, light brown is the main colour that we're going to be using for the tank. And then the camouflage pattern will be going on with mahogany and light green, as usual. Following that, a wash with Army um, Painter's mid-brown. So, let's get on with it. As I say, light brown to start off with, and that's going all over the tank. This is what you call a base coat. So it's, it's the colour that the tank is basically painted as it comes out of the uh, factory and ready for action. So that's how it's painted. The camouflage will come on or will get put on possibly even in the field. You know, the natural soldiers in the field will paint, could paint the camouflage design on. I'm not exactly certain. I, I have heard that happens. You know, if it does, fine. If not, I'm wrong. And, you know, I'm just making up stories to fit in with the fact that I'm not using this game as an accurate representation of World War II. I'm using this as a game. So if my soldiers want to paint the tanks camouflage on in the field, that's what they're going to do. Ha! <laughs> oh, dear. So yes, you may have noticed on the main tank I didn't paint the tracks, but on the uh, on the um, turret here, the two pieces of spur tank uh, spur track that we have attached to either side gets painted. Um, it's mainly, mainly because I wasn't uh, really bothered about painting them because the colour we're going to be painting them will go over what this is and it's much easier trying to paint it than trying to avoid it to be brutally honest with you so as i said we're going over with a very flat light brown color we don't want any gray showing through we just want this to look light brown and yep i'm happy with that it all looks light brown so let's start with the uh, camouflage and um, this time we're going to go with green just for a change. I normally do the mahogany colour first. But you know what they say, change is as good as a rest. And I decided to change it up on this one and go with green first and then the uh, mahogany colour afterwards. So I'm just putting random lines and splodges of green as you can see splodges it's for some strange reason it was doing fine on the tank and then uh, get to the turret and it decides to really give a broad spray but hey who cares it's um it's not the end of the world if my uh, camouflage design doesn't accurately reflect camouflage design on tanks that were in the in World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> so, if anybody is watching this and uh, interested in World War Two, and you know, don't get on at me because I'm not doing this the way you think it should be. I'm doing this the way I think I want it, and that is uh, game pieces. This is a game. Um, I said right from the very beginning that I'm treating this as a game. I'm not treating this as historical uh, world, uh, historical war gaming. I'm not treating this as an accurate representation of what happened in uh, World War II. I'm treating this as a game. So bear that in mind. Right, so we've got the main body done. Now all we have to do is give it a wash. Shed load, absolute shed load of uh, mid brown wash goes onto these things. It's surprising how much it needs. <laughs> um, so, seeing as it's going through quite a lot, I've ordered myself another three bottles 
of uh, this particular wash. So that should be coming within, hopefully within the next couple, in the next week or so, and then I can carry on. Um, now I do have one more vehicle after this to do for the Germans, that is, and then um, I'm going to have to wait until I can get more tanks. Although saying that, I've just realised that I have um, a mid-war Tiger platoon um, on its way. I ordered that. Um, was it Tuesday? I think I ordered that. Well, I ordered that a few days ago, and it's on its way. It's uh, unfortunately it's the it's an older pack, um, and it's not the. At least I don't think it's the same um, pack as this. These ones, it doesn't look as though it's the same. But uh, I just noticed the it was the cheaper one. I didn't really notice the packaging or anything. And then it was only afterwards when I realised it was a mid-war uh, Tiger platoon and there's only two tanks in it, whereas the current or the more up-to-date boxes have is it three or four Tigers in a box? Ah oh, well, serves me right for not paying attention. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting two more tigers coming, so that can't be bad. So yes, more, more, more brown wash goes onto the pallets, and then gets plastered over the tank, and then more brown wash goes onto the pallets and plastered onto the tank, and then more brown. <laughs> This seems to be an ever continual cycle, cycle, ever continuous cycle of um, yeah. It's it's just it, these models eat this wash. I'm sure they do. <laughs> so make sure you get everywhere with the wash. Try not to leave anywhere. If you do leave anywhere, don't sweat it. But, you know, try and do your best not to do it. Anyway, there's a little chappy with his head stuck out of the turret. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some of the light brown. Pop down the palette there. And then we're going to go over to Army Painter. Who do a rather nice barbarian flesh colour. And that's going to get popped onto the palette. And we're going to mix a little bit of each of those together to get a colour that I think looks quite good as a flesh colour. So we're going to paint his face and his hands with this. Hands! <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Hands German, never mind. Um, so, you know, painting his hands and his face with this uh, colour and then we're going to get some of the it's a dark blue grey and we're going to pop that onto the palette as well and paint that over his coat and his uh, hat cap and um, when it dried I realised that it was not the right colour um, I really should have done it in black but I decided to try something a little bit later on in this video um, so you will see what I tried to do um, but so far it doesn't I've not highlighted him yet uh, but I will be doing later on by I also haven't painted his headphones and the microphone he's talking into um, but again that will be done later on I'm not painting infantry min uh, minis on camera so I'm be doing all of that off camera it's fiddly with 15 mil to try and get it on camera so you can see what we're doing but there we are, the tank is now painted and washed. Now all we have to do is let it dry. It's dry and we're getting some metallic black onto the pallets. And for this, and with this, sorry, we're going to be painting the tracks. So we've got the uh, tracks on the side of the turrets here that we're going to be using, doing. Little pieces of track rather. Spur pass in case the track breaks. You know, and it's much easier changing the track on these tanks than it was to change a wheel. 
because it was, uh, especially if it was one of the back wheels, because the if you notice the wheels actually overlap each other, there's, there's a row of wheels and then across them and on in front of them and straddling each of the back wheels you have another set of wheels you can see there so yeah I bet that was a bit of a nightmare to change but there we are all the track is being done and we want to make sure that you get on with the track that includes the edges and the bits inside that are near the wheels um, it's not very difficult to do but it's just you've got to keep your hand you know got to keep your hand as steady as you can when you're doing the interior bits because you don't want any of this going over your nicely painted wheels saying that however if you plan on weathering it afterwards which i plan on doing if you do actually accidentally catch any of the wheels with this uh, metallic black you can always cover it up when you start weathering it later. There's always a way out of things if you look closely. <laughs> so yeah, we're covering all of the tracks, edges and the inside of the track and the outside and the bottom. And I'm even doing the edges on the underside of it, but really not much point in doing that unless you really want to be fussy about it because let's face it it's going to be on the table nobody's going to see it because yeah, it's not so you know you're not going to be picking it up and studying every one of them um you know so that's that's what i think anyway so it's not only the tracks that we've got to paint in this color we also have some cables like tow cables and things like that which we're going to do we're going to do all of those in this color as well because yeah why not um, so we've got these to do and make sure that you do get the edge sides of the cables as well don't just do the top uh, because if you look at it at a different angle you're going to see that uh, the sides are the light brown and the tops are metallic and it doesn't look right so as I say just be careful and make sure that you get the sides as well as the uh, tops of the cables I'm also painting these what I can only guess as being exhaust pipe thingamabobs and then there's these tools at the front of the tank there's a an axe a shovel and a, what looks like a sledgehammer um, and there yeah I'm just going down doing the edge of this particular bit of uh, metal rope and then we have this piece of rope metal rope here on the side of the tank over the zimmerit and that is about it you know it doesn't take long to do these tanks to this stage but you know it, there is still quite a bit to go um, I'm just as I say waiting for uh, waiting for the decals to turn up now the dark tone memory painter this is what i'm going to be using to darken up the uniform the coat and the hat of the tank chappy so we just have to wait now until that wash dries and the decals turn up before we can do anything more with this but what we can do hopefully is take the tank off the thing so fingers crossed can we do it yes we've done it without breaking it whoopee <laughs> right the turret is on with blue tack so not worried about that coming off but that's it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it until next time stay safe and take care god bless and bye for now <laughs>